So it's Sunday afternoon. I just got back from a quick overnight fishing trip. Caught no fish, nothing. Anyway, um, busy week this week. It's meant to rain on Wednesday and I've got a bit of spraying to do. And I've got to do a second application of urea across all the canola. Um, so just trying to get organised now. It's a little bit breezy, so I might just get everything filled up and see where I'm up to then. Um, if it's not too breezy, I'll go spreading. Hopefully get a couple hundred hectares spread this afternoon. Pretty sure it's ready to go. Just hook the chase to on. Hopefully it's right to go. Hopefully the August starts and we should be right to fill everything up. No jumper loads, bugger. That auger definitely needs a new battery. But I've been too lazy to do it. Spread is full, chase spin's full. Just gotta go drop the chase spin down the paddock and ride the motorbike back to get the spreader and we'll be into it. fishing this morning he was probably out washing his truck scrub 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 no doubt about him play so I'm pretty confident we'll just make a mess here won't actually get bogged anywhere 
other than up the here sand where there's a bit of sand over clay it could get dicey there guess I'll see how I go she's wet probably can't tell the front wheels barely steered it around the corner then This is our 2021 canola. It was sown between the 15th and 20th of April. Um, I wish it went on the, in on the 10th. It's the moisture was very marginal when we put it in, and then the mice have been at it too. So it's very patchy in spots. It's way behind where it should be by this time of year, but it could be a lot worse. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm relatively happy with it. How it's sitting now, it could be a lot worse, it could be a lot better. About to get wet up here. It's always hard to know whether to go around the wet, wet spot and you're off your tram lines, or go through the wet spot and you could really get stuck. traffic on RTK GPS which is a two and a half centimetre correction so our lines will be within two and a half centimetres of each other year in year out and we go down the same lines with the cedar, the spreader, the spray, the header, everything in our program is pretty much going down the same line so we're slowly compacting the tracks which is good because the rest of the paddock is uncompacted. Um, so yeah, it means we're constantly trying to do them up, trying to flatten them out because you get big ruts through your, through your paddock. But um, yeah, you're not compacting your whole paddock. So here you can see the mice damage. We've just taken out big patches pretty sure that's moss damage sort of a bit moss damage and a bit moisture stress at the start and stuff just didn't come up anyway it's we're very lucky compared to others so I shouldn't complain
still going. Done 100 hectares, got 100 hectares to go. So hopefully I'll get home about 6 o'clock tonight. All things going well. Then kick off again in the morning. That's the paddock done, just heading back to the sheds now, 200 hectares done for the day, just have the rest of the canola to do tomorrow, that's like, oh no, another 450 hectares to go tomorrow, um, yeah, thanks for watching, let us know if you're enjoying it. Now if there's something else you want to say